Good afternoon, good evening. My name is Ibuku Awoshika. I'm the chairman of First Bank of Nigeria. I'm also the CEO and founder of the Chair Center Group, a manufacturing group which I started 30 years ago. I want to speak to you about the conviction, the courage of conviction. In life, we all have different things that we believe in, but our ability to have the courage to fight for the things that we believe in in a way that no matter what is changing around us, we can stand and keep standing is what is key. In the world that we live today, there's so much confusion as to who we should be, as to what we should believe, as to what we can defend. We're all struggling with whether to follow the crowd, to be part of the crowd, or to have the audacity to stand for what we believe. As a young woman of 25, when I was starting my first business, I made up my mind that two things were going to be critical to me. I'm from Nigeria, and there are many things that my country is struggling with in many ways, but we're a great country of a great people. I made up my mind two things. I was never going to pay a bribe in order to succeed in my business, nor was I ever going to sleep with a man in order to take an opportunity. Everyone thought I was an idealistic young woman that wasn't going to go too far holding on to those principles. Well, it's 30 years after. I've built a successful manufacturing group. On top of that, my country got to a point where corporate governance became a major part of the business landscape. And it became important to find people who had not only good technical track record, but people of integrity, of character, and people that could be trusted. Over the period when I'd been building my business, I had built a reputation for those things. I did them for myself because it was based on what I believed and on my faith as a Christian. And as it got to a point where they became the real tools that everyone was coming for, I got more phone calls and invitations to join boards of, from multinationals to major corporates than I knew what to do with them. What does that tell us? It's worth fighting for what you believe. It's okay to stand alone even when nobody else agrees with you. It's all right to have to believe in something that you know is right and to stand in every way that you can, no matter what the environment is around you. If the world needs people who have courage of conviction, it is now. There is a major crisis of what is right and what is wrong. We're forgetting that we need each other. We're forgetting that we need to look out for each other. We're forgetting that except the least of us is taken care of, that the best of us cannot survive. We're forgetting that it's one world and it's a very small world. I've traveled across all the continents and I can tell you, we need each other. It's such a small world that if we don't learn to love and respect ourselves and forget those things that we think are important but are actually unimportant, and if we do not have the courage to speak up when we show, then we set every one of us up for trouble. Take a child from every local environment in this world, no matter their tribe, the color of their skin, their language, or where they come from. Put them all in one room, and you will find them as a team, playing together, supporting each other, except you teach them otherwise. They will work together to solve every problem that you give to them. That's what we need to be. We need to go back to being children of the world again. We need to be a people who believe in love, in faith, in kindness, in, in caring for our neighbors in a way that together we can find the solution of the world. We need to understand that not a single one of us is an island to itself, that every single one of us holds a piece of what is required to build the right world where we can all survive. Whether you're a business person, or you're a career person, or you're someone who is working in whatever field, we have one home and we share it together. We either protect it, we fight for it. In fighting for the world together, we fight for ourselves. In building a better world, we build a better home for every single one of us. In building a better future, we build a future for our children. It's a small world. It's too small for divisions. It's too small to be divided. But more than what some people think is what you think. How you can dare to think 
and determine what is right and how you have the courage and the audacity to stand up and fight for what is right. How you can look your neighbor in the eye no matter where they come from and think of what is in their interest as well as in your interest. How you can remember that no matter how smart you are, you're not smart enough to survive by yourself. No matter how rich you are, your wealth alone cannot keep you alive and keep you safe. That we all need one another, looking out for one another and understanding that this is our home and it's a home we must protect. I made those decisions those years ago, so many years ago, and over the last 30 something years of my career, I have never regretted for one minute that I chose to fight to defend the things that I count important. And over that period of time, I have found that it wasn't just satisfying for me, it has been rewarding for me. I sit right now as the chair of the largest and the oldest institution in my country. First Bank of Nigeria is a 125 years old institution. But alongside that, I have built my own manufacturing with the furniture and security system for the last 30 years. And I've had the pleasure of working with the largest office seating manufacturing company in France, Sokwa SA of France, as my partners for the last 15, 17 years. So yes, I appreciate the French and the value that they bring to the table. And I'm proud to be part of President Macron's Nigerian uh, French uh, Association because we're working together to try to find solutions to the challenges of our country, but more importantly, how we can solve problems for our two countries. Enjoy your day.